Well, the children of Israel had a special calling and relationship with God, not because they were any more special than any other people, but because of God's promises to their forefathers. They had been chosen long before, and their forefathers had entered into covenant with God. Now, if they would live in obedience to the commandments of that covenant, they would be blessed. Now, you and I can walk in those same blessings through Jesus Christ because God is the same, and He never changes, and He rewards those who walk in love and obedience with Him. So, welcome to this week's Shabbat Shalom devotional when I seek to share a little inspiration and just bring a little peace to the close of your very busy week. This week's Torah portion comes out of Deuteronomy chapter 7, 12 through chapter 11, verse 25. It's called Ikev. It means, and if you obey, meaning these rules. So now in chapter 7, verse 6 through 9, God makes it very clear, or through Moses, it makes it very clear why they've been chosen for this special relationship. Let's listen. For you are a holy people to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for himself, a special treasure above all the peoples on the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love on you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any other people, for you were the least of all peoples. But because the Lord loves you, and because he would keep the oath which he swore to your fathers, the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of bondage, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Therefore know that the Lord your God, He is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love Him and keep His commandments. So here Moses is telling them, you are a special treasure to the Lord. You are a holy people, which means a people that have been set apart unto God. It's not based on their size, which means their strength or anything about them, but it's because centuries before, God had made promises to their forefathers, and He had created this people, and He loved them. He repeats this a couple of chapters later, uh, chapter 9, verse 4, for do not think in your heart that the Lord your God has cast them out before you, saying, Because of my righteousness, the Lord has brought me in to possess this land. But it is because of the wickedness of these nations that the Lord is driving them out before you. So here we're talking about when they go in and take possession of the land, not to think that it's because they're so great that God is giving them the land, but Moses is saying here, actually, it's because of the great wickedness of the people in the land now. And another very interesting thought about the land we read this week in chapter 11, verse 12, how much God loves the land. That's why he's getting rid of the wickedness that's defiling that land, and he's putting his children there. Let's read it, verse 12. It's a land for which the Lord your God cares. The eyes of the Lord your God are always on it, from the beginning of the year to the very end of the year. So God loves the land that He is giving to His children, whom He also loves. And then we read, I want to point out one thing this week, that the blessings of walking in fellowship with this God and in obedience to the terms of the covenant that He made with them. Very interesting. First of all, one of the blessings was to get wealth. Chapter 8, verse 18, And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the power to get wealth, that He may establish His covenant, which He swore to your fathers, and it is this day. So it is God who gives wealth in order to establish His Word and His covenants. They also, it's because of God that they would get rain, uh, verse 14, 13 and 14. And it shall be that if you earnestly obey my commandments, which I command you today, 
to love the Lord your God and serve him with all your heart and all your soul, then I will give you the rain for your land in its season, the early rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain, your new wine and your oil. So he not only helps them to get wealth, he helps their crops to prosper by providing rain. God is the source of the rain in times of need. And then there's the promise of healing, chapter 7, verse 15, and the Lord will take away from you all sickness. So healing and blessing is part of the Mosaic Covenant, just as it is part of the New Covenant through Jesus, because it's the same God. He doesn't change. And the rewards for walking in love and obedience with Him are the same today as they were then. And with that, I wish you Shabbat Shalom. Shalom.